Let's take a look how you can make this colorful chrome effect on logo here in Blender. First, you're gonna need a vector SVJ logo. So I'm gonna go to Illustrator and I'm gonna export this logo in vectors. I'm gonna go to Asset Export, drag and drop the image in, and make sure to export it as SVJ. Click on Export. Now let's go to Blender. Let's go to File, click on Import, select Scalable Vector Graphics. I'm gonna search for the SVJ logo and click on Import. I'm going to select it, press the letter S, and scale it up. And I'm going to deselect, select one of the shapes. Now you can select everything, a right click, select the join. I'm also going to go to the materials and change it to some lighter color. So if I zoom in, you can see we've got some errors going on when I import the logo, the SVJ. So I'm going to press tab, or you can go and select the edit mode. And here I'm going to select this anchor point here. And as you can see, the handles are going all the way out, which is not good. So I'm going to go and select the move tool and I'm going to select this anchor point here and I'm going to bring it back. There you go. So it's going to smoothen it out. I'm going to repeat the same step with the rest. I'm going to go and switch it to object mode. I'm going to select the logo. Let's go to data. And here I'm going to open up geometry and add some extrusion. I'm going to go with 0 0.005, enter. And I'm going to increase the resolution a little bit more so it won't be that choppy. Let's go ahead and right click on the logo, go to convert to and select mesh. Let's go to modifier. We're going to go and add modifier, search for remesh, enter, select smooth, increase the depth to nine, uncheck remove disconnected. And let's go ahead and click on apply. And now let's go back to modifier, search for smooth, corrective, enter. Here I'm going to increase the factor to 1, repeat 100, check only smooth, and here we got it. I'm also going to add a plane, press shift plus A, go to mesh, select plane, and as you can see this one jumped into the center, so I'm going to select the logo, right click, select set origin, geometry to origin. And there you go, select the plane, press the letter S, scale it up. We're also going to need to rotate this, I'm going to select the logo, let's go to the object. And I'm going to rotate the X to 90. Got to do the same thing with the plane. Select the plane, a rotate 90. I'm going to bring it back. Now let's go to shading. And here I'm going to go to the render and change it to cycles. Instead of CPU, select the GPU compute. I'm going to decrease the max sampling to 50. And I'm going to set up the materials. Let's select the logo. Click on the X here. And let's go and click on the new to create a new material. Here, all you need to do is increase the metallic, and I'm going to decrease the roughness to 0.1. Let's go and activate the viewport shader, and we're going to change up the environment light. Let's go to object, change it to world, and press shift plus A, search for environment texture. Enter, press shift plus A, search for mapping, and I'm also going to search for texture coordinate. Connect the generate to vector, vector to vector, and color to color. And here at the environment texture, you can upload the HDRI. So we're going to need to make a custom one actually. And for that one, I'm actually going to go to Adobe Firefly to generate those HDRIs. So let's go to Firefly, select image, click on generate. And here all you need to do is go to the aspect ratio, change it to widescreen, content type photo, visual intensity at default. And let's go to the prompt and type in colorful water paint liquid texture and hit generate. And here we're going to try it out with this one. I'm going to click on download here and now let's go back to blender go to environment texture click on open and search for the texture you generated click on open and check this out this is going to look i'm also going to select the background the plane and i'm going to change it to object let's go and click on new and i'm going to change up the color to black now in order to make it even better we're going to add a camera so let's go back to the layout zoom in press shift plus a select camera and i'm going to bring it out let's go to the object go to the x rotation change it to 90 degrees and let's go to y type in zero z zero again so let's go back to the shading and i'm going to go and activate the camera mode i'm also going to select the plane and i'm going to make it pure black so let's go to the specular open it up and let's go to ior and decrease it to zero if you want to customize the hdri you can go here to the world and now here you can go to the mapping and then change up the XYZ rotation and check this out. And it's going to customize the HDRI. 
I think this looks pretty good. If you want to check out how to animate the HDRI, I got to leave a link in the description. And pretty much this is how you do it. 